Hey, it's Mike here from the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Uh, today we're talking about student engagement. It's really easy to keep students engaged when you're teaching a seminar of 15 students and you can talk to them and they talk back. And what do you do in a larger class of 30 students, 40 students, where you can't really call on students all the time, but you still want them to remain engaged? Well, the, the, one of the tools that we really like for student engagement when you've got a lot of students is Poll Everywhere. Poll Everywhere really gives you the opportunity to ask students questions for comprehension, make sure that they're understanding what's going on, make sure that any questions that they have are answered, and keep them focused on what's going on. So it's got a lot of benefits to it, and it's super easy to use. So let me show you how to do a really simple test for comprehension um, in Poll Everywhere during your class. So here I am in Poll Everywhere. It's just polleverywhere.com. And everyone at William & Mary has an account, and you can go ahead and log in. So if you notice on the right here, I can click the Login button at the top right. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my William & Mary username and password. Well, actually, just my William & Mary email address up at the top. And I'm going to click on the Next button here. And now you notice it recognizes that we're at William & Mary, so I'll click Login with William & Mary. And I'll go ahead and log into the um, central authentication service. And so now here is the, um, the interface. Here's the dashboard. And to go ahead and create a question, super easy to create a question, I'm going to go ahead and click on plus activity. So now I have a chance to do multiple choice questions, word clouds, Q&A, all of these different items that you can do. Let's choose the, the simplest thing, a multiple choice question. So I'm going to go ahead and add a title. So if I wanted to get a comprehension test at the beginning of the class to say, um, what was the main point of yesterday's lecture? And then I can go ahead and say, answer A answer B, and I can do as many of these as I want. I'll stop at two. And I can add another activity, or I can just hit Create. I'll hit Create. And that's it. I'm all ready to go. Anytime that I want students to answer this question, I can pull it up in class. So how can I do that? There's a little Present button here. I can hit Present. And that's it. If a student goes to respond at pollev.com slash STLI, that's my username for this particular session, um, on, their, on their mobile device. So I'm just going to go to a mobile device here. Students are asked to log in with their email address. So I'm going to hit login with SSO. And students will do the same exact thing. They'll log in so that they're registered so we know who's answered the question. And that's it. Now I've chosen answer A was the main point. And you'll notice that in real time, that student's answer gets recorded. If you've got a class of 30, 40, 50 students, it's really nice to start a lecture that way so that you can tell, oh, people didn't understand that point of the lecture. Let me return and make sure that people understand it before we go back um, to today's lesson. So really easy comprehension check. It's even an opportunity for you to take attendance because now you've got them recorded as being um, having taken this quiz or taking this poll. Um, and you can actually import this and embed this into a PowerPoint. And if you'd like to know how to do that, um, you can come on into the studio and we can give you help with that or we can send you directions online. Just reach out to us at steely at wm.edu. Thanks for watching.